hello Model Car fans. Welcome to the Muscle Car Modeler. My name is Ralph, and I asked a bunch of you what I should do for my next project and what I should show on the channel. And surprisingly, a lot of you have been saying, get some more of your uh, working processes done or any of your stalled projects. And I've got a quick easy 25 off to the side of me that uh, I can look at. And I quickly just grab some of these and put the bodies up here to kind of show you some of them and some of the ones that are more interesting to me that I kind of want to work on, kind of don't. Uh, every now and then I'll pop them open and play with them a little bit like this one. I um, showed you it and I remembered where I was and what I was doing with it. So, you know, I kind of played with it a little bit. So, you know, next thing you know, I'm filling in the holes here with the epoxy putty and just kind of reminiscing and you know, you know, should I get this one done? And you know, it's been in primer and it's been sitting there. And this is going to be the '84 um, anniversary edition, the white car with the GT350 stripes and red on it. And you know, it's kind of a Shelby, it kind of isn't. And you know, it's it's a rebuilder and had it a, a long time, and it's just kind of sitting waiting for its turn. And I got some others, but surprisingly, I had a, a number saying. I want to see some Fords, I want to see some Mopars, and, you know, maybe a, a Mercury or a Lincoln. I'm like, okay, yeah, I've got, you know, some of that kind of stuff. So I just pulled them out real quick and and just kind of showing. One of them I got asked for was a Mustang 390 S-Code. Well, that's what this is, was going to be. This is a 67 GT, but it's a GTA. I've got a resin uh, conversion kit, so it's got uh, a resin hood. And the resin ribbed tail panel back there and the trunk is actually resin as well um, and that's all from uh, um, replica replicas and miniatures of Maryland it's his stuff and uh, it's actually um, was an already built kit that I basically pulled apart and rebuilt and I was doing some work to it so you know this one's another started but stalled um, speaking of mercuries you know if you're eyeballing this one Here's a Cyclone spoiler. Check that out. Yeah, that's a vintage kit that's a rebuilder, and I believe this is the 71. Uh, the 70s molded in red. I have both, but on top of that, this thing was being kit bashed with the 70 Torino. So there's the 70 Torino chassis, and then you open the hood, and there's the entire engine compartment from that same Torino. And I've seen a number of these built um, by other modelers, and they come out awesome. And this one was a, a rebuilder. It's got some glue marks and some things on it. But I started to do all of the fitment work, and uh, then it kind of stalled. And a couple of parts I, I've gathered for it, and decals, and just you know having a hard time choosing a color and everything. Here's another one that's a, a simple Mopar. This is a Duster, the AMT 71 Duster, but it's no longer a 71. I started to convert it to a 72, so I removed the marker lights. All right, cut and changed and modified the tail lights for more of a 72 appearance, and then put this rib in there and started molding that in because um, the 72 and later ones have that. So I started to work on that, and I haven't made new marker lights, and that's pretty much all that's missing uh, to make this one a 72. So, you know, this one kind of stalled, and it really doesn't need much. And again, don't know why it stalled. Here's another one, the same kind of thing. This is a full-on resin conversion kit from Plamos, and this is the 2014 Camaro Z28. So, there's a full-on body with all the conversion work done to it, painted white and everything, and still need to, you know, paint some of the black there. And the hood doesn't fit that great, but... You know, it's fitting fairly decent, but there's really not much I can do to make it better. And so this thing, you know, it needs a little bit of work, or maybe I could make it better. But this one's been kind of sitting since about 2017. And, uh, again, don't really know why, but there's a lot of work to do this. So that part's done. And same thing, here's the engine compartment and, and chassis. And it's fairly well done, and for whatever reason... One day I put it in a box and haven't really pulled it out since. And in the back there, we've got a couple of Cobras here. It's really the same um, build going on with this one. So 
I was trying to make more of a, a street cobra, not the SC, which is the monogram kit molded in red, which is this body. Both of these are actually molded in red, if you notice, um, with the wire wheels and everything. But this one, I went and sanded the lip off of here, smoothed it out, rounded it out. But the putty had cracked where the gas cap was being filled. You can see that there. And I was doing some other work to it, filled in the sides here. And I was just having a little bit of fun. I removed the uh, oil cooler scoop on the bottom, added this to the front there, and which I think that's pretty cool. But you know, if it's a 427, it really has this oil cooler down there. I uh, don't know any of them that don't. So that's kind of why when I realized that and I was doing this body, it's got a few Mars in it and everything. So I was like, all right, I continue on with this one or you know, move on to another body. But since I have so many of them, that's what this one was. I just put the epoxy putty to start filling the, the gas door and then filling these in. And that's as far as this body went, as far as starting over for another body. So there's a couple of street 427 Cobras, um, which it's really just going to be one, but, you know, two bodies, the first body and the second body, you know, the 2014 Camaro Z28, which that one's well on its way. Um, don't really know why that one stalled, um, especially when I look in there. I don't believe I have any missing parts, but I, I know it was getting really frustrating and really tedious because um, this this Plamos conversion is, is very uh, in-depth. So there was a ton of work that went into getting it to that point. And even when you cut all the extra parts off of the Ravel body, uh, the 2010, it just takes quite a bit. And there's you know not much left of the original kit. And I kind of broke my rule too. I tend to like to build a, uh, the kit out of the box first before I do conversion. Um, but, you know, it doesn't always happen. Like this one, a restored car, ripped it apart and... Um, started to do all the conversion work to it but you know I had all the all the stuff to use the stock stuff but I didn't like it so ended up uh, you know selling that on eBay because you know for a while now and I think they still go for some crazy money but same kind of thing I've got all these going all these different visions and plans some of them you know I know exactly what this one's gonna be I know exactly what this one's gonna be but why I stopped I don't know um, the biggest one with this one was because I need to add the fog lights in there and you know so that kind of slowed me down and I didn't know what I was going to do since then I kind of have um, figured out a couple of things here and there but just haven't gotten to building this one that one's the same kind of thing um, have all the plans know what I'm going to do with it it just hasn't gotten back on my bench uh, the Cobra's kind of you know the opposite I don't really know what color I'm going to do. I know what wheels I've got. Um, so for the most part, I know what I'm going to do with it, but just, you know, hasn't made it back on my bench. And that's usually what happens. You get some going and you get some others, you know, that just you get excited about and you move on and just send, end up in the corner of the, the hobby room. And there are many others, but, you know, these ones just came off the top of my head, so I ripped them out, uh, give you some ideas of, of what to see um, as far as some of my rebuilders or not rebuilders but stall projects that are just sitting here and waiting for something to motivate me and get me going here so and some of them it's just as simple as I don't know what colors you know like these two that's really what stuck me is I got this far and you know the marker lights were kind of an issue of fixing it but I've still got you know some other ones that are on my channel the 2020 Shelby, um, working on that a little bit. Same thing with the the body that's the, the Wraith car, the Turbo Interceptor, working on that one as well. So both of those are getting done. And that 60 Corvette that, that I've shown on the channel, that one has been fully repainted, cleared. Uh, the, the decal I forgot to put on it, that one's done. It's pretty much ready for foil. And I'll start getting uh, that one completed so that one will be done real soon but here's just a sampling of some of the the stalled projects that i've got piled up and you know just kind of whet your appetite and tease you a bit of what what i can do or some of my projects that are stalled and uh see what you guys think and get you all excited too maybe you can get me motivated as i you know get motivated to build these and some of your ideas on 
what to do uh, with them. I'm not getting into full details on all of them except for, you know, maybe this one because it's, you know, so far um, completed that I, I don't know why it's sitting. But thank you for tuning in, subscribing. You guys have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you next Saturday.